supposed to be realistic and uh, so I'm not making it real perfect. Maybe there's a little design right in here. And maybe I won't have too much design. Kind of keep it a little simple. This could come over here like this. Um, it's going to be come over and it's going to go down on this one. Only it's going to be narrower. And maybe I'll have it kind of break up in there to so good but you know it's not it's not supposed to be perfect I just need my ink over here where I can reach it a hint of, of it over there. That's all I want. And in here I probably bring something down like this. A little bit more decorative. And then leave it like that. I'm not going to put too much It's a suggestion. And I put it down to the bottom here so you can see whatever I do down there. Uh, I'm thinking possibly um, well right here. And then maybe I'll bring a, see right here, maybe I'll have this. Rose kind of on top of it. Pick up the black, it does make it darker. Line around this. Maybe some stem is coming down here. I'm not going to put too many of them in. I, I don't want to get too, too realistic. Just kind of give it a little shape here. You know, you, you just can keep working on something like this forever and ever. You know, I'm going to put a little bit of these out here and here. Just kind of, I kind of want it to be more abstract. Just got to have a, a little more dark some places, you know. Otherwise, it doesn't go through too good. Charles is, um, 
I guess you'd call this a rose. And then I'm going to cover up some of that. See, this kind of has some black on it. Maybe a little bit right there. So you different techniques that you can do with the painting. Um, well, I put it in a mat and um, it's not too bad. It's um, not what I thought it would be, but it's a painting. <clears throat> this is a big undertaking. I um, didn't intend it to be. Uh, it was not as easy as I thought. <laughs> it was loose, but not easy. So I apologize, okay? But you try it anyway. I bet you can do better. You keep plugging away. That's what I do. Just keep thinking and creating. It fills your mind with happiness. And um, I'll give you some close-ups in a moment. But uh, I just wanted to get my face in for a moment um, to tell you how much I appreciate all my wonderful comments that I get from uh, you people out there. And it's worth every cent. Everything that I do is because of you. And let me tell you, I sure wish you could look up my eBay and get one of my really reasonable uh, watercolors. Uh, very reasonable. I never sell my work for that small amount. But, you know, I figure I want somebody else to enjoy my work. If they can enjoy it, that help, makes me happy. So, look me up on Millie Gift Smith on eBay. I do have a store, and I've got uh, quite a few paintings on there. Every day they go off, you know. You can keep them there for seven days, and then you got to put them on again or put something else on. But please look me up. And I thank you again today for watching this video. And I'll say goodbye to you and happy, happy thoughts. You know, when you paint a painting this uh, angle, it's kind of hard to get the whole thing in. Um, I want to get, the, I won't get all the mat in, but I'll get the painting in. And then I want to show, see if I can work this and show you a little of the close-ups. I just love the trellises, the wrought iron trellises, and that's why I decided to put this one in one. And I hope you like this painting. It took a lot of thought, i tell you that. Okay. you know, it was worth it all if it helps you in your paintings. Here we go back and write down. And I've already signed it. So, thank you again and goodbye.